channel gang welcome back to my channel my name is Reese I'm the Sano mom and I just had a public service announcement oh. that's perfect it goes perfect with my announcement it's basically just saying to you all moms we gotta do it all and it's never easy <laughs> to like click subscribe whichever side it is y'all know um I'm a mom okay that's why my name is Sano mom and it's not easy so I kind of just want to make a real raw video because I'm not perfect nobody's perfect that's pretty much that sums it up <laughs> So basically, um, as a mom, I, okay, no. <sighs> Let's start this again. I have two children, almost four and almost two. They are my blessings, but it does make like studying and getting time to focus kind of difficult. Right now, as you guys can hear, silence. That's because right now they're in daycare. So during this semester, I only have cl uh, clinicals on Monday, class on Tuesday, and classes on Thursdays. So my Wednesdays and my Fridays are usually my days that I can kind of get out there, study, and focus. Um, honestly, Wednesday and Friday is not enough time because I also have to get into the scan lab to practice my hands-on technique. Hands-on technique is just as important as the educational part. So don't think, oh, let me just study my books and when the comp comes, I'll just you know, do what I learned in lab because it's not that easy. Um, so what I would suggest as a mom, if you do have your kids in daycare and you have the support system, use all your free time to study. Um, at nights when your kids get home, get them in a schedule. Like even if that means making them cry it out for a little while. I had to do it with my kids to make sure they slept in their own room and that they were in there at 8.30 so that that time period after 8.30, even if they weren't sleeping, they weren't quite like bothering me. At the same time, I don't like to study in front of my kids. I don't want them to think that I'm choosing school over them because I am not. School is for them, but they're young. They don't understand that. So I always like to take my own separate time to study spend my time with them when they're home. Um, even there's a lot of times, if you're even able to schedule time to go to school, that means you have time to study, definitely. If you have a class at 8 a.m. like me, and then it ends at 10 and you have a lab at 12, study between those two. Or if you have a huge gap like I have from 12 to five, study. Pack your lunch, you know, make sure that you don't have to do too much. Have all your stuff ready. Like when you're packing your kids up and getting them ready, get yourself ready too. Get all your scrubs out, your shoes, your socks. I mean, figure out what you're going to do with your hair the night before, everything. To just maximize your time. One with your kids, two with your schoolwork. Um, I can honestly say for my program, I would not suggest working at all. I have a weekend job right now and it's already kind of too much. Um, it can be done. I'm not saying it can't be done. We do have a student in my CVS class. She's wonderful. She's excelling. She's getting A's. She's positive. She works overnight, eight hours, supports her daughter and comes to class. So I can't say it's not gonna be done, but you just have to fight it. Fight it, remember, it's just two years or however long your program is. It's just temporary. It's going to be so worth it. Moms like you, moms like me, we can get it done, honey, because it's been done before. So we got to do it. But anyway, um, I don't know really what else to say about that. I just definitely say organize. Be organized. If you're not organized already, even if you're not a mom, organize a lot. Like schedule your days, your times, your study groups, all of that. Meet up with people who 
study the way you study or just study alone but saddle gang we got this you hear me i don't know how many times in my videos i have to tell you stop it don't doubt yourself you're going to get in you're going to graduate and you're going to get a job